We invited 25 youth groups from different villages. Naona watu wa Mashimoni, watu wa Kosovo sijawaona bado, but I know they are on their way. So we'll just start. We start with seeing like what kind of solution um, challenges are there, yeah? That you see you not not in the newspapers, not in the news, you you if you're working every day with the groups that you're working with what are the challenges that you see si challenge tumechukua ni big ni literacy unapata umtu ka ni literate atasikiza ke politician anasema na atamfuata lakini angekuwa mjanja ata stand up peke yake lack of information and awareness it's kind of same as illiteracy na crime na lack of mentorship poverty tukaeka into bracket unemployment mimi na feel religion inatufanya tuwe divided we saw that in madare the, the best challenge is always politics because we find that in these five years we live as one but upon election coming then we get division so i think politics was our basic politics was like our umbrella and now we go a little bit more to the positive mindset solutions yeah just make sure you are tackling ile challenge kubwa muliona and then come up with a solution or a different solutions towards it na discuss literacy na tukaona vitu mingi zina happen mtaa ni kwa sababu maboy ama ma youth wako illiterate mm. our challenge was lack of information and awareness in bracket mentorship so our solution what we have come to realize what we can do to make it better we thought of we come up with information joints kuna diska story ya poverty ile kitu tulikuwa tunaita poverty tukakuja tukatafuta solution positive mindset cuz ukiwa na positive mindset kila kitu itakuwa shwari there, there should be youth forums which are, are used to, to, to empower these youths thanks a lot for those presentations it was nice to see like the amount of thinking collaboration teamwork I went around and looked at uh, some of the ideas that came out from those discussion. Uh, the beauty of this exercise is that we did not know what to expect. But we knew to expect something amazing and uh, so far personally um, I'm pleasantly surprised by what has come up. So we'll call David to say a word or two then now we can take this conversation to the next level. It was very interesting to to listen in to the Uh, conversations uh, in my country children at school are taught one thing very important which is to think critically and independently and to take responsibility so that's why i thought this was so encouraging to be here today and see how you think how you yourselves as community members and community representatives together can identify what are the challenges and what are the solutions that we together can work for because the power belongs to the people so you are the members of mathare so you know mathare best you know the solutions and and uh, it's very encouraging to hear what you came up with today so we are here to walk with you and we look forward to continuing the conversation asante sana